All right, so in this week's episode of Paint Talk, I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should be doing a new painting every day. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to Paint Coach. My name is Chris Bornatero, and I am here to help simplify oil paint so that you can get better faster. All right, so when I say make up new painting every day, yes, there is some wiggle room to that. If you do a painting and it takes you, you know, one, two, even three days, that's fine. That's still in the realm of what I'm talking about. A lot of times I'll do a painting that takes me one or two hours, and then maybe the next day I'll spot something on it that I want to fix and I'll work on a little bit more. But there are, you know, a lot of times where I'll sit down and I'll knock out a painting in one to three hours. All right, so let's just jump on into it with reason number one, which is doing a painting every day, it will make painting a lot less intimidating. It's a lot easier to sit down and do a painting when you know that it's gonna be done in a couple hours. Opposed to a big painting that might be a multi-day, multi-week, or even month-long commitment. Embarking on a painting that's gonna take a long time can be very scary. And that fear can actually stop you from even going into the studio. Because you think deep in your mind, oh, if I don't start, then I can't fail. And spending a long time on a painting that doesn't turn out the way you wanted can be a big hit to your morale. Now it shouldn't be, I mean, no matter how it turns out, you definitely learned something doing that painting. But in your mind, you're gonna think, wow, I wasted so much time on this painting that nobody's gonna see because I don't wanna show it to anybody. And then you get down and then you don't wanna paint and now you're not practicing. And I've always said the number one thing, no matter how you gotta do it, is just always be practicing, always be getting in the reps. That's how you're gonna get better. And anything that's gonna prevent you from getting those reps needs to be thrown out. All right, we're trucking along to reason number two, which is it will show you what is important about painting. When you have to get a painting done in one day, it's gonna force you to cut away all the things about painting that don't matter and focus on the ones that do. These are things like drawing, value, color, and simplification, the fundamentals of painting. You being able to understand and wield those is what's gonna make you a better painter, I promise. And the cool thing about these fundamentals is it doesn't take that long into a painting to realize if you got them or not. Like you'll know right away if your drawing's right. You'll know right away if you got the values correct or if you simplified something. There are a lot of other aspects of painting that aren't nearly as important but take a lot of time. Like if you got caught up in just painting a lot of detail, you're not gonna learn that much about the process of oil painting. Like if you spend two days painting every single little pebble in a creek bed, you're not gonna learn that much. Like you're not gonna have any big breakthroughs and see your work jump up to a next level by just understanding glazes. So master the fundamentals and you will get so good so fast, it will make your head spin. All right, reason number three. Doing a new painting every day will make your failed paintings easier to get over. You will learn not to be so precious with your paintings, the bad ones and the good ones, because you know tomorrow is another opportunity to make a new better painting. This will also help you kick that pesky little problem of being a perfectionist. It's a lot easier to end a painting when you know there's a new one coming. Now, I really feel like there's a point in your painting journey when you kind of switch mindsets and you stop caring about a good painting that you recently did. Like I see a lot of students, they'll do a painting, they'll be really happy with it, and then they'll be kind of like timid going into their next paintings because they're afraid if their next painting isn't as good, it will mean that that good painting was just a fluke. They just got lucky on that one painting. This can cause a lot of problems. It can get you down and make you not want to paint, feel like you're not getting anywhere. It can make you want to just go back to painting that subject you had success with and just keep painting that over and over because you're good at it, which is gonna stunt your growth as a painter because you're not gonna be trying things outside of your comfort zone. You need to really change your mindset, not be so precious about your paintings and realize that your best painting is always ahead of you. Like I really don't even like having my paintings up necessarily because when I see them, I just, see things that I could have done better. I mean, most of my paintings are actually just on a stack on top of this shelf right here. The journey of learning the paint is up and down. There's gonna be times where you're gonna feel great. Like you got this thing all figured out and your next painting, you're gonna be like, wow, I need to go back to coloring books. And you'll surprise yourself and do something better than you thought you could. That's gonna happen the whole way. I still go through it. I've seen master painters that have been painting for longer than I've been alive say that they still will be in a painting and go, wow, I have no idea what I'm doing. That's normal. Just embrace it and know if you just keep going and work through the frustration and keep painting, there is light at the end of the tunnel. But then there's another tunnel and then there's light at the end of that tunnel. It's just a series of tunnels. All right, reason number four is that doing a new painting every day will give you reps at the entire process of painting. Starting a painting, working on a painting, and completing a painting. In terms of learning, especially for beginners, I found that it's not just good to paint every day, 
but to do a new painting every day to go through this whole process. You know, if you're working on a big painting, you can still be painting every day, but there is something to be said for going through each stage of starting a painting, working on it, and finishing it. When you work on a painting for a long period of time, you're only going through those stages once. So if you got a painting that takes you seven days, you're only going through the process one time, whereas if you painted seven paintings, you're gonna go through that process seven times. So you're gonna learn more about the process as a whole. And you'll learn that you struggle with certain parts of the process more than other parts. So you can focus on bringing those weaknesses up up in your next painting. So it's just very helpful to have a quick turnaround with this whole process of doing a painting, realizing what areas you struggle in, and working to bring those weaknesses up in your next painting. A good example of this is a student of mine that was working on his portraiture realized that his painting was won or lost pretty much in like the first 30 minutes of painting when he was blocking in the big shapes and constructing the form of the face. He was like, wow, I feel like if I can get this first section right and get the form correct and get it looking like the person before I even add in the features, it makes the rest of the painting a lot easier. So the more practice he got with that blocking stage, the better his portraits got. So the way that you get better at oil painting is doing a painting, analyzing what you could have done better, and then do that better on your next painting. So the more opportunities you get to paint, analyze, and adjust, the more you're gonna get better. And reason number five is you will build momentum, which is huge, huge. The more I teach, the more I feel like good momentum in painting is just so important. Nothing kills the momentum of your painting practice like working on a painting that's taken forever and you're not that excited about it. A student gets themselves into a monster of a painting and around halfway through they don't like how it's going and they really don't enjoy working on it but they feel obligated to finish it so they don't want to start something new but at the same time like they don't want to work on this big painting so what happens is they end up just not painting altogether. When you work on something new every day, you're gonna feel fresh. You're gonna feel excited to paint. It won't feel like an obligation. All right, that's it for this week's episode of Paint Talk. If you liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out the description of this video for links to all the great extra little things I have to offer, like my Foundations of Oil Painting course, my Patreon page, and all of the painting materials that I recommend. And if you wanna follow my daily painting adventures, then follow me on Instagram at 4 is a 40 I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.